I want to talk about Brock Lesnar. I see that all signs are indicating right now that Brock Lesnar will not be making his return to the WWE, at least not until sometime in December, as there is going to be a special edition of probably Monday Night Raw, where the Slammy Awards return. Looks like uh, Brock Lesnar is scheduled to return on that episode, as initially it was reported that Lesnar was not going to be returning until sometime in the first quarter of 2015, probably like around the Royal Rumble time or whatnot. But the way it's looking right now, he's probably not going to be returning until December at the earliest, at the latest. <sighs> I got to be brutally honest here, and it's time to put the RCWR show spotlight on Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar as the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. When I first had saw this move go down, or when I first saw early signs that this is probably a direction that WWE was going to be going in, I was very excited for it. I, on this very show, had said, you know, it's going to be a nice throwback to the way wrestling was in yesterday's, when you had the whole territorial thing going on, where you had a champion that was just going across all the wrestling promotions, territories, and they would face whoever was the top person for that respected territory, put the championship belt on the line. That person that was built up would not get the belt, but it would definitely make them be a made guy overnight as that traveling champion would continue on to other territories. And I really had liked the idea of a Brock Lesnar as champion, assuming that that's how they were going to be doing Brock Lesnar. And my wildest dreams, I never expected them to operate with Brock Lesnar the way that they're currently operating with the man. I was always under the impression that we were probably going to see Brock Lesnar show up for like maybe one, two Raws out of the month. And then they do like a lot of hours and hours of video footage that they would have of him whenever he would show up at these arenas. They would be able to record enough footage to help them get over the rest of the weeks leading up to the pay-per-view. Maybe something afterwards that all they needed Brock for was one or two Raws do the pay-per-views and basically it would just continue to be like that. That's the impression that I was under and unfortunately, that's not the direction that it's gone. And it's definitely very infuriating right now. So much so that when you go back, boys and girls, and you look at what had came about with Daniel Bryan. Think about that for a minute. Daniel Bryan was involved in a situation where there was weeks that was being exhausted with Daniel Bryan. Is he going to have to cough up the championship belt? What's going on with him? How bad is his injuries? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Finally, we saw Daniel Bryan get stripped of the WWE championship. And then they had to do this whole new tournament to crown a new champion. Because at that point, Daniel Bryan, he was going to be reaching the 30-day uh, not compete clause, and unless he was going to be defending the title within the window, he was going to have to cough up the championship belt. So, meanwhile, Daniel Bryan is on a indefinite hiatus, yet we go with Brock Lesnar, who wins the championship belt, what was that, at uh, SummerSlam, defended it at uh, Night of Champions, right guys? And we haven't seen him since. And he's definitely past his, uh, or he's about to hit 30 days or whatever. He's not even working this pay-per-view. You know, it's just really baffling how things are operating, uh, with this man, especially as far as at least having there be some type of video footage that they can show of Brock Lesnar to stretch out these weeks that he's gone. You know, I remember a time in uh, the AWA, and I uh, actually remember Eric Bischoff talking about this on his recent shoot interview that he did with RF Video. He talked about how once a month they would get all the AWA talents, and they 
fly them into the main office and they would cut promos for the whole day and they would be doing different promos for all the different cities that they would be airing in so that when it was time for those little snippets to air for those respected city television outlets it would go without a hitch and I'm thinking to myself well maybe they're going to kind of operate that way with Brock Lesnar and everything and they aren't doing that they just aren't you know and it's like why is he getting paid all this money Buku's money at that and it's just literally almost Brock Lesnar as far as his dates and appearances go it's just basically the same not what I envisioned. Not what I envisioned at all. And it's quite sad. It's really quite sad because, you know, on the one hand, you don't always need to have the champion be there every single week, a uh, uh, fighting champion, but it's kind of nice to know that there is a champion that's there. I mean, every single wrestling promotion that's out there right now, especially on the independent circuit, you know, I mean, you always know who the champion is. The champion is always present. You always see some type of video packages or whatever of that champion. I mean, it'd be one thing if Brock Lesnar was used in a situation where he's giving interviews. Hey, catch Brock Lesnar on the next Steve Austin podcast or on the Jim Ross report or on Chris Jarrett. You know, it's one thing if you got Brock Lesnar doing his media rounds, he's staying in the loop and all that. He's making appearances at fights. And, you know, it's one thing if he does that and he's got the WWE championship belt with him and everything, but we aren't even seeing any of those things going on. Or, hell, maybe Brock Lesnar gets a camera and he makes his own little YouTube channel and he talks mad crap on his channel about what he's been watching in the wwe that way he's still connected with everybody he's still in the loop and wwe can go back and use that it's really mind fucking boggling that we've been getting so little of brock lesnar since he's been the champion that it's ridiculous not the way i envisioned it and honestly Something's going to need to be done in a huge, huge way because WWE really needs all the help that it can get right now. Once again, we've got no CM Punk. We've got no Daniel Bryan. Uh, you know, unfortunately, we don't have Roman Reigns right now, who is without a doubt one day going to be the future face of the WWE. I mean, right now, we're relying so heavily on guys like Dean Ambrose. Seth Rollins, I'm hoping that with whatever is going on with Luke Harper, Eric Rowan, it goes off on a very good, strong note. I think it's quite fucking stupid that the Wyatt family stable is being broken up. However, I think it could balance itself all out if Bray Wyatt is going to align himself with the Ascension. I think that could be something that's in the works, folks. We shall wait and see, but... It's definitely some very dark times right now for the WWE product as they have no champion.